Hi guys, it's Maka Pussy here and we're back with another song reaction. And today we're doing the song Daughters of Witches by Freeze the Fall, who are a, quite a kind of new up and coming band. Pretty sure that they're from Canada and they're quite young. So far I've checked out two of their songs, I thought both of them were quite impressive. The newest one especially was just a whole different level from the first song that I'd heard from them. The first song that I heard from them felt like a young band who were kinda trying to find their sound, whereas the first single from their album is just felt really polished, quite mature, and it was just a really good straight up rock song. I'm kinda curious to see how this one's gonna come across, but more importantly than that is how emo is it. So stick around for the end, we're gonna whack it into the emo scale, science, and then we're gonna see just how emo are Freeze the Fall. Oh, straight away, <laughs> straight away. Love the funny timing. The bass sound is fucking incredible. Holy shit. Whoever's done the production on this, excellent job, excellent job. That sounds huge. And I think there's only three of them and it's, it sounds massive. Okay. Right, firstly, the 7 8 intro, absolutely banging. Fantastic. I like funny timing intros like that. It's just a really cool riff. It's, it's kind of a lot more metal than I was expecting. This is, this is quite, quite metal. It's much heavier than I was anticipating it being. The vocal harmonies and the verse, fantastic. The weird little thing that they've just did as a pre chorus, mm. It's just cool, it's dynamically interesting, it's switching up here, like here, there, everywhere. Yeah, this is another banger. Now, now it lives or dies on the chorus, which we're about to get to. If it's catchy as fuck, then we have an absolute straight up banger. Okay, right, couple of things, the drummer has come on leaps and bounds since the first time I heard them. I distinctly remember the first time I checked them out on stream and I was like, the drummer's letting them down, like the drummer's playing at a time, he's a bit, mm. somebody's been practicing. Oh, we man is smashing it, <laughs> that's some phenomenal drumming. Also, 
the bass tone is just beefy and gritty. Sounds absolutely astonishingly good. That riff, by the way, right, the 7 8 riff is just cool. It's the kind of riff that I can I could see Tool breaking out and me going, yeah. If I was to put any criticism forward at all, it would be that I think the vocals and the chorus are a little bit clean. There's a possibility that that's just because the song's so fucking heavy. It's so much heavier than I expected it to be. Please the fall if you're watching this. So excited for your new album. This is going to be phenomenal. <laughs> I mean, it is legit, it is legitimately just went straight metal. <laughs> that little vocal thing there where she was just like talking through it with the thing reminded me a little bit of Blind by Korn. Thankfully, is a better song than Blind by Korn. And you know what? Blind, Blind, Blind's a good song. It's a, it's a good song. I don't even like Korn. It's a good song. But this... Don't know what I was expecting, right? <laughs> It was not this. There's been a whole host of bands released new music recently that I've been wanting to check out. Some I haven't gotten to yet. Some I have. So far, this is probably the best of the bunch. Guys, I was solid, absolutely fucking solid. But oh, what a tune! The guitarist, I was gonna say the guitarist and the singer, they're the same person, right? But they were always pretty good. The bass player was always playing quite interesting stuff. For me, the standout of that is the drummer. The, the drummer absolutely crushed that. Whoever the fuck is doing the production for you guys, mmm. Because they've taken what the bass player plays and just made it sound massive. I don't know when the new album's out. I don't know when the new album's out. I need to look up. Freeze of all, if you're watching this, because I know you watched the previous video, so I'm I'm taking a chance. If you are watching this video, can you let me know when it's coming out and if it's coming out on vinyl? Because I want it. <laughs> I mean, it already sounds great on that, it's gonna sound fucking phenomenal on that. That was great guys, that was great. But now, the real question is, right, how emo was that song? We take our wee sad emo face and we go, twinkly guitars, how twinkly were the guitars? They were not twinkly at all, they were down around here. But the singing, singing was up a bit here. That's how emo it was. That's it. Science. Science guys. But let me know in the comments below. Did you like that song? Did you not like that song? Are you excited for the album? I am. Blatantly. That's <laughs> all I've been talking about. That was The Daughters of Witches by Freeze the Fall. I've been Marcabusi, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.